everyone in this video I will show you how we can apply my new action uh, animated stage light how we can apply this uh, action to image uh, let's uh, see a few example quickly it's uh, like a uh, stage lights laser disco style okay uh, let's start uh, it's my test image uh, first of course we need to install our action and install our brushes uh, first uh, let's install our action click on this icon uh, click lower action yes i see my action and uh, second step we need to install our brushes uh, for this go to brush process panel click on this icon and later brushes okay uh, i see my brushes uh, Next, uh, make sure that you have RGB color and 8 bits per channel. Uh, also, check your resolution. Your resolution should be more than 2000 pixels uh, on each side. In my case, you see my resolution and of course your resolution uh, should be 72 pixels per inch. Okay, uh, let's start work with our image. Uh, first create new layer with name mask select hard or soft brush I recommend it use uh, hard brush and draw over your image ok uh, uh, second uh, you need to create another layer with name brush select soft brush with opacity 100% uh, select another color select soft brush and uh, make size from 100 to 300, 300 uh, pixels in this range and draw like a dots and one dots one light let's start with may, maybe two dots uh, we will have uh, two lights in different direction okay my image is ready and I ready to apply my action to my image okay click our action and click play also, uh, we need uh, to use this timeline panel. If you don't see this panel, go to window and find timeline menu. We need a wait to wait a little bit. In base results uh, we have red lights and dark blue background and uh, of course we can change value of this element Okay, uh, it's page results. Let's see. Yep, we have animation. And let's uh, make this image more like a final image. Uh, 
let's see what we have in our folders. It's uh, backgrounds of lights, main image, and of course stage lights, and of course color fix. We have 12 color fix uh, that we can use and apply on our image. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, for example, I want to change uh, stage lights color. Click change the color and drag sliders. Yep, maybe I want to see green lights. Uh, next, uh, if you want add some contrast, play with levels uh, after we need to make our background more friendly with our main stage lights go to backgrounds of lights and let's change maybe yep it will be green and I want to make reduce lights of my backgrounds yep it's cool and uh, if you see we have a little bit of blue main image uh, have overlay color blending mode and let's change to green okay and final, uh, for example, you want to apply some color fix. Let's see what we have. Okay, I like uh, this for my image. And final, uh, for example, you want to add some uh, text. Uh, let's create, oops, sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe use. And sorry, oh. Just a show. Okay. We reset our base value and let's see if we change the blend mode overlay. Okay, it's just for example. Uh, and let's see what we have at fi in final. Yes. As I will show you how we can export SG format or how we can export as image sequence or as video. Uh, go to file, uh, file, export and render video. We have in this window two options. Uh, you can export as video, of course, and of course, uh, Photoshop image sequence. Here is a, a, a lot of options that you can uh, change as you want. Uh, and uh, let's I will show you how we can export as GIF format. For this, go to File, Export, and Save for Web. We need to uh, wait a little bit while Photoshop calculate on um, each frames in our animation.
Uh, oh, and uh, uh, I will show you how we can change our stage lights, lights animation, which tracks we can move, and how we can create different flashlights in different orders. Your Photoshop uh, will be work more quicker uh, because I am recording video and uh, my memory cache and processor. Okay, uh, it's uh, ready. Uh, let's reduce my final size, for example, this image, this size my image and very important things uh, make sure that your looping option set as forever we need to change from once to forever let's wait while Photoshop reduce my image OK, and let's change our looping option. OK, click Save. And let's see what we have. Yep, it's cool. Uh, let's see what we can do with our tracks of our lights. Go to Entitlement Panel, Stage Lights. We have uh, two uh, tracks of our lights. Uh, they repeat and scale. To, we have two tracks from uh, left and from right. And of course we have single flashlights you can drag these tracks and create another animation Let's see. Cool. Uh, you can select any frames uh, you like and you can save it as static image. This one or this one. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through my profile on Graphic River or via my email that mentioned on last page in README first PDF file. Okay, thanks for watching again. Bye and enjoy!